Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Gabriella. I make videos about fragrance, astrology, self-care, mental health, single life, dating, I do vlogs, and basically whatever else I feel like talking about. So if that sounds like your jam, please stick around and subscribe. Would love to have you here. So today I wanna to talk about a really special fragrance that I would categorize as unisex. And that's a little bit um, old fashioned to say unisex. We already know that anyone can wear anything, right? But this fragrance really blends masculine and feminine energies so well. And I was floored when I smelled this. I haven't smelled anything like it in my life. And I've reviewed a couple other fragrances from this house. And one of them um, makes me feel the same way. Jet Black Platinum. I, I reviewed two of their men's uh, fragrances in a, in a previous video. It was like two sexiest men's fragrances right now. I think that's what it was called. Um, but I wanted to come on and also review Citizen Jack Open Road by Michael Malool. Um, and this video is kindly sponsored by Michael Malool. Shout out. But uh, of course, all opinions are my own and I would not accept sponsorships. I do not accept sponsorships from companies that I don't actually enjoy uh, their products. So Citizen Jack Open Road, I think it's a beautiful bottle, first of all. It has a little bit of a peachy, ambery tint. So this is technically from their men's range. And the, the box is pretty cool, I kept it. It's like a deserty, and it's exactly what I thought, even when I think of the name Open Road, um, before I even saw this box, when I had this in their discovery kit, that's just what I imagined, which is why I'm wearing my denim shirt today. So I discovered this fragrance in the Michael Malool discovery kit that they sent me. They have discovery kits available that you can order on their website if you are curious about their fragrances and don't wanna to commit to a full bottle. I think that's always, always a smart thing to do, plus it's just fun. So Citizen Jack, this one is, all right, let's, So I always talk about dating and stuff like that on my channel. If you're into astrology, my, my Venus is in Libra, so I really can't help it. But I'm always thinking about date fragrances and how people are gonna react to your fragrances because I think that's one of the most fun parts about wearing fragrance is really it being noticed by others and how they interact with what you're wearing and what kind of message it gives. So I would wear this on a date. A thousand and one percent. Now, of course, I've only ever smelled it on myself, um, so I'd be curious to see how it reacts to others' body chemistry, but this is a fragrance with notes of juniper berry, citrus ginger, uh, vanilla, and tonka. Those are the main notes that are listed on the website. So, to me, um, lovers of soapy fragrances are gonna love this. This is clean and soapy, not in a clean laundry way. It is genuine soap. Um, yeah, gingery spicy soap. Not spicy to the point of smelling like Old Spice or aftershave, not at all. You, you don't need to expect that from this at all. It does not smell like a typical men's cologne whatsoever, which is why I would wear it. On me, it pulls really, Oh, really soapy, really clean, soapy, sweet. Not sweet in a sugary way, not sweet in a gourmand way. It's the vanilla and tonka. It's very earthy, grounding sweetness. But there's nothing uh, dirty about this. This is not a um, sort of dirty in your face patchouli. There's nothing like oud in here that feels intensely uh, powerful and domineering. This is a really laid back fragrance. It really blends warmth and earthiness with cleanliness. If you're someone that likes to smell clean, but you don't want to smell like aftershave, like men's, um, you know, uh, body products, you know how it smells when a man gets out of the shower. I have smelled a couple colognes that smell like that, and it's nice for a man. I don't think I would wear it. But this, yeah. Um, so again, not smoky, not oody, not woody. Uh, it's just unlike any other men's cologne I've ever smelled. If you, I just have to keep saying it, if you like soapy fragrances, you're gonna love this. It genuinely smells like a really, really expensive bar of soap. That's exactly how it smells on my skin. Also, it, um, it reminds me a little bit of lavender. I had a lavender cream puff um, body cream once, and it smells like that. And I think the reason why I'm sort of getting that 
um, is because the juniper berry. It's adding this herbal sort of, um, yeah, it's an herbal element, but it's not green. It's not like vetiver. Um, so I'm not sure if there is lavender as any note in here, but I would believe it because it, it reminds me of a sweet, soapy lavender fragrance. But again, if you hate lavender, I don't think you're gonna be able to pick it out in here. Who would I recommend this for? Um, women who love androgynous fragrances, women who wear men's fragrances, even somebody who likes the Philosophy um, Grace fragrance, this is almost a more androgynous version of that. But again, I hate to even say androgynous because if, if it were in a different bottle with a different name and it were in a women's range, I would believe that this were a women's fragrance. It's, it's a chameleon. It's really kind of blowing my mind. So do I smell the ginger and citrus? Not so much, not so much. I think the juniper and the vanilla are really taking center stage. I think ginger is adding spice, but it's a fresh spice. I'm not smelling so much citrus, but ginger I think is what's giving me the clean element. Um, and ginger I think is the most fresh, fresh of, of spicy notes. So it's not a uh, pepper, it's not anything that would make you feel like you wanna sneeze, that type of spice. It's just nature, clean, in, invigorating, a little bit of a zing, it's a little bit of like, it's definitely a mood boosting fragrance. This is definitely a mood boosting fragrance. It's an optimistic fragrance. It's uh, down for anything, it's adventurous. It's giving me kind of Sagittarius vibes. It's really a very, very special fragrance and I have a feeling that on different people, different notes are gonna pull really strong. For me, I love that on the dry down, I get that sweetness because I am a gourmand girl. I love any, I mean, almost all perfumes that I love have got vanilla and or tonka somewhere in there. Things that are, are sweet and earthy. Um, and this vanilla is very subtle. It's not a gourmand vanilla and it's not vanilla extract. It's not dark, syrupy vanilla. It's just, it adds warmth. That's about it. I would never think that this was just a vanilla fragrance. I really cannot get over how much this smells like an expensive bar of soap. I would wear this on a date. I find it very uh, addictive and very seductive in the sense that you just smell clean but expensive. And it doesn't smell like you're trying to sell yourself as something you're not. That's the energy. It also gives me, I'm comfortable in who I am. I am not trying to put on airs for you. I'm not a snob, but I uh, take good care of myself. But I am who I am, take it or leave it. You know, I'm, an, I'm down to earth, but I also know quality. Don't you wanna get to know me? Oof, it's a good message to send. So that is Citizen Jack Open Road. Uh, again, check out the link below for the Discovery Kits by Michael Malul and their website and everything. And thanks again to Michael Malul for sponsoring another one of my videos. Always have a great time working with you and cannot wait to share more of their fragrances in the future. Let me know if you try this out and what you think because I have not smelled anything like this in my life. Have a great rest of your day, night, whatever you're doing. Talk to you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.